The Supreme Court heard historic arguments over the constitutionality of gay marriage today. The hearing brought passionate voices from both sides to our nation's capital. Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Policastro was inside the courtroom for the Supreme Court hearing and she breaks it all down for us. My view inside the courtroom was a bit obstructed, but the arguments were engaging. The justices fired questions at the lawyers. There were some laughs at times, but there was also some screaming. A protester was actually inside the courtroom, and he was yelling and screaming and had to be removed by police. So some fiery moments both inside the courtroom and outside today. Support and protest at the Supreme Court for the case that's being called the civil rights issue of our time. Our Constitution says... I am an equal citizen and I deserve the same rights as everyone else. Jim Obergefell is the most high profile plaintiff for the case. He wants his legal Maryland marriage to be recognized on his husband's Ohio death certificate. I've been able to talk about my husband every day and that keeps him alive for me and that's been really an unexpected gift of this whole process. The Supreme Court is looking into cases from four states, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Michigan. Inside the court, a protester started shouting during the oral arguments. He was removed by guards for the rest of the hearing, where justices looked at two main questions. Do states have to perform same-sex marriages? And do states have to recognize same-sex marriages performed in other states? Justices acknowledged the quick shift in public opinion about same-sex marriage, but also questioned the very definition of marriage. This definition has been with us for millennia. And it, it, it's very difficult for the court to say, oh, well, we, 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 know, we know better. The arguments led lawyers and justices to talk about everything from adoption to divorce to religion and even the thoughts of ancient philosophers. From the Valley News Live Washington Bureau, I'm Jacqueline Policastro. The court is expected to take up two, about two months to review the arguments and then make a final decision about same-sex marriage. Some new figures